Hey guys, real quickly, I wanna share this awesome deal on the Office 2016 CD key. Right now you can pick it up for only $35, but if you guys use the code TSS2, you get an extra 10% off. I'll drop a link below if you wanna check it out. What's happening guys, I'm Techsaurus. Welcome to the highly requested follow-up video of the Intel budget PC that I built a few weeks back on the channel. Um, a lot of us were, and myself included, was very shocked at how much performance we were able to squeeze out um, from a sub $500 budget PC. Over 60 FPS across most AAA titles in high settings, no stutter, no lag, fluid gameplay, all while the PC remained dead silent. And if you guys don't believe me, make sure to check out the benchmark video where you can see the actual gameplay and all the stats and the numbers. I will link that below. So the reason why I'm here making this video is because a lot of you requested to see an AMD version of this exact same PC. Maybe they have something against Intel, or maybe they just wanna see if a similar priced AMD system would perform better. But yeah, that is why I'm here. This is the exact same PC that I used in that video. I haven't touched it just yet, but we're gonna be swapping out some parts to convert it into an AMD build, like the motherboard, the CPU, and some RAM. So the CPU we're going with is the Athlon 200GE. This is also a dual core processor with four threads and it costs about the same as the G4560. But Ed, you could have got more performance if you went with the 2200G or if you went with the Ryzen 1200. Zip it in the comment section, you guys, please. I know how it works. Obviously you spend more money, you get more performance. The point of this video is to compare apples and oranges. I have to compare apples with apples. That's what I meant to say. Uh, the point of this video is to compare two similar priced PCs to see which one would perform better, thus giving you more bang for your buck. So the motherboard we are using is the MSI B450M Pro M2. It supports overclocking and it's compatible with all Ryzen chips from first gen all the way to second gen, which makes the AMD system more attractable because of expandability. Let's say later down the line, you wanna upgrade your CPU to a Ryzen chip and you wanna overclock that, well, this board has you covered. Uh, you don't have to go out there and buy a new board just for that. It also supports higher RAM speeds, which is why I picked up 2800 megahertz rated RAM sticks and it costs only $7 more than the RAM from the Intel build. So not a huge difference in price. Actually, as of making this video today, both systems cost the same. However, prices do fluctuate every day. And I know you're probably thinking, Ed, that's not really fair, dude. You're using 2800 megahertz RAM in the AMD system, while the Intel build only had 2400 megahertz. And here's my response to that. So the Intel system, unfortunately, the maximum RAM supported was only 2400 megahertz, and that's because of the G4560. I couldn't go anything higher than that if I did, it would have been a waste of money and the RAM would have underclocked itself. So there was no point in doing that. I'm also aware of the fact that the 200GE supports up to 2666 megahertz, but the price difference between that and the 2800 megahertz was the same. So it just made sense to pick this up instead. It's also great for future proofing because let's say we do swap the CPU to a Ryzen chip later down the line, it's gonna support all 2800 megahertz on these. So yeah, that's why I picked it up. But yeah guys, everything else is pretty much the same inside the PC. We're still using the same case, the same power supply, and the same graphics card. So let's go ahead and put these in here and see if the AMD system performs better than the Intel. And if it does, by how much? All right, so the results are in and it's actually surprising. It appears that the Intel build performs noticeably better than the AMD build, despite it using lower frequency RAM. The total frames from the Intel build came out to be 600 over AMD's 529, which means the Intel build is 12% faster. I think the biggest difference between these two systems, aside from the performance, is expandability. With the AMD system, you can upgrade the CPU up to a Ryzen 7 and you get faster RAM support, up to 3466 megahertz because the motherboard supports it. 
Now on the Intel build, you're pretty much stuck with locked processors because the B250M board that we used in that PC doesn't support overclocking and it doesn't support any RAM over 2400 megahertz. So you're pretty much stuck to that. So let's say later down the line, even if you do upgrade your CPU to an i7-7700, you can't really pair that with fast RAM. You're pretty much stuck with 2400 megahertz or less. So the real question you gotta ask yourself if you're deciding between these two budget PCs is what's more important to you? The extra 12% performance in games while losing out on expandability or going with slightly less performance but with expandability. However, there is an alternate option for those of you that want the best of both worlds. If you guys are using the Intel system, all you have to do is swap out this motherboard with a Z270 board, which will cost you only $30 more but it will give you tons of room for expandability. I would personally go with the Gigabyte GAZ270 XP, which supports overclocking, you get faster RAM support as well, and it goes for around $80. If you want something more compact for an ITX build, go with the ASRock Z270M for just $50 more, which has built-in wireless AC. I mean, all of these are really great options, but honestly, it just comes down to what your budget is and what your preference is. Are you looking to build a cheap budget PC to game over 60 FPS in the now, or are you looking for something more long-term with future upgrades later down the line? But let me know what you guys think about both of these PCs, and if you were to pick one, which one would you go with? The Intel or the AMD with future upgrades, or maybe the Intel with the Z270 board, that way it's more future-proof. But anyways, let me know what your choice is in the comment section because I might just randomly pick a comment and give him or her that PC. Uh, it is gonna be a global giveaway. I'll announce the winners on Black Friday on my Twitter account. Make sure you guys are following me or check back on that day to see who won the PC. It's kind of a secret giveaway. Only the people who stuck around to the end of this video would know about it. Do not mention anything about the giveaway in the comment section, otherwise you will be excluded. Do not mention giveaway. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah guys, thanks again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. If you did, dropping a like would mean the world to me, and I will see you guys in the next one.